Hi guys, so here we are. This is Silly Simon. I'm just going to do like quick reviews and comparisons of the iPhone 4 right there and the uh, Blackberry Torch 9860s right there. Oh my gosh, I finally got my nails done. Silly Simons. Anyways, let's get started. Move over, Cinderella's. What the hell? Gross. Anyways, let's just start off my nails because they are so fab and glam. Because when you go glam, the world goes BAM! Because you, know, because you walk in a room and they're like, oh my gosh. Because... Anyways, so here are my nails. This is S. I kind of screwed it. I. L. L. But you could say I4. For iPhone 4. Or iPhone 4S. Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. Anyway, so here we are. Here is the Torch 9860s and the iPhone 4 Awesome Blossom. Sorry, let's turn it off. Um, Blossom. Anyways, uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to get started with a special thanks to my boys over at Link It Up. As I said before, they are pretty silky smooth. Hook me up with these two phones, at least this one, and uh, just give them a look when you need any of your accessories or in your phones, blinkitup.ca. They're located at Highway 10 in Dundas in Mississauga. Anyways, let's get started. So right off the bat, you can see, actually, let me just get this stupid case off. Talk about gay. Anyway, so here we are. Um, you can see right off the bat, I'm going to do like comparison physically of these two devices. The iPhone 4 is like 9.3 millimeters, and the Torch 9860s is 11.5 millimeters. Kind of goes from fat to thin, and then fat again. I know what that's like. Uh, just to give you another comparison, here is the Torch 9810s, and you can see that it is also pretty much about the same size for the bottom half as the other two phones. Uh, anyways, let's put this aside because we're not focusing on this silly billy. And my stupid light's falling. So here we go. 137 grams for the iPhone 4s, 135 grams for the Torch 9860s. Screen resolution is 640 by 960. That's the iRetina something garbage bullshit. Uh, this one has 480 by 800 pixels. Density of 252 pixels, and this one has 330 pixel densities. Benefit is that this one also has the optical trackpad. So over here, you can actually kind of scroll around with this mofos. And while I'm on the website, I might as well just show you guys the pinchy zoomies on here. Pinchy zoomies. You can see that it's pretty awesome blossom, nice and easy to do. Uh, still as fluid as the iPhone 4, surprisingly. Uh, text does not kind of re awesomeify. So if you try to, I don't know, double tap on that, it'll do that. If you try to double tap on something. Anyway, so we're going to go back to this thing. And I'm going to start talking about the internal storages. This one has 16 gigs built in with 512 megs of RAM. This one has not at all nearly as much because it's pretty garbage storage space. But it has a micro SD slot so you can upgrade up to 32 gigs. But 768 megs of RAM. 1 gig A4 processors on this side with the Blossom's angry faces and this one has a 1.2 gig processors which is not dual core on the back which is again my favoriteest um, 5 megapixel cameras on the iPhone 4s 5 megapixel cameras on this mofos but this one has image stabilizations it has face detections basically upgraded version because it came out of the closet like a year later after this thing so obviously they had some time but again blackberry is still behind the new iphone 4s be sure to check out my video for that shameless self promotions and this one has 720p video recording this also has 720p video recordings difference is that as i said this one has image stabilization face detection but the absolute biggest difference is let me get our subject here to take some pictures of here we go this is the um FMOTS rock, some people call it. Uh, so anyways, here we have the cameras. It's going to do quick camera tests and show you guys what it's like. Pinch. OK. 
Okay, and now let's see how it looks like on this mouth house. You can go here, do that, nice and smooth, silky smooth, go to that, click on close-ups, and you can't tap to focus anywhere. It'll just automatically focus wherever you want to look at, and it'll make that box green. So then you just press this button. Oh my gosh, it did it. Super. And we're going to click on that to look at our pictures. And same over here. So get out of here, Cinderella's. Uh, you can just do the tap to focus here, tap to zoom. Same thing here. Not as good. I mean, it's not, you know, you can see the iPhone 4 is very fluid and silky smooth everywhere, all around. You can even do the pinch zooming over here. You can see that it gets really pixelated around this portion when you get in that deep. And you can see the approximate where you is. Uh, here also it's a lot smoother, but you can see that despite the current lighting conditions, it's still not as noisy. That's probably because this is HDRs. Anyways, back on to business. Let's check out some of the browser things in here. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to check out my favorite website, which is... You guessed it, Skittles.com. Tess Rainbows. They're not paying me for this. Pay me, Skittles. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Click that, mofos. And we can do Skittles. Dot. Skittled. Skittles. Scuttles. What the f. Skittles. Dot. Fail. Damn it! <laughs> Skittles.com. Super awesome. Alright, so we're gonna press go together and let's see where it goes. Probably to Skittles.com, I'm guessing, but let's see. Alright, you can see the loading speeds. Hey, Blackberries. Hey, you're doing pretty good, Awesome Blossom. So, Blackberries is pretty much already loaded up. Nope, not really. I lied. It's right there. iPhone 4 is also, but we can start scrolling. You can see that iPhone 4 gave me some checkers. This one is giving me a lot more checkers. Oh my gosh, at least the iPhone 4s are blue. Uh, then you can see the fluidity of the scrolling. Let's do tab zoom. Tap zoom a lot faster on the iPhone 4s. Let's see if we can tap zoom there. Tap zoom there. So it's still faster for the tap zooming on the iPhone 4s. I'm going to get this light out of here because it's really annoying me. Oh my gosh. Stop moving. Okay. Uh, on top of that, we can see that basically, um, what else is there? The Blackberries, as usual, it's super awesome for uh, their texting, their emailings. Uh, everything related with keyboard is now gone because there's obviously no keyboard here. It's just touchscreen input, kind of like the iPhone 4, which is why this is a pretty fair comparison. Uh, and you can also see that the mailing client on this thing is pretty awesome, Blossom. Blackberries are known for this kind of stuff, but everyone's saying that they're going downhill, so I don't really know how much longer they're going to be here with this kind of stuff. Uh, back to the actual specs on the phones, just for one second. They both have threaded text messaging views. Uh, digital compasses in both, uh, GPS is in both, Bluetooth 2.1s in both, Wi-Fi in both, you know, the usual stuff. This iPhone 4 still has that stupid gay homo touch grip death gayness thing. Uh, both have accelerometers. Uh, difference being on the front again, as I said, trackpads and obviously more than one retarded button. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, my nails. Perfect. Thanks for bringing that up, guys. Here you can see that that's I, like an I, get it? Meow. And basically, this is a pink hole. So basically, you take this and you kind of just, you, you kind of just put it in. Okay. So, anyways, in summary, I wanted to say that texting while driving is gay, and basically, this BlackBerry is probably the most exciting five-inch-long thin black thing I've had in my hands in a long time, really. Um, so yeah, that being said, I'm probably not going to make a move to Blackberries for this devices, just because iPhone 4 is still used to it. You know, you have the usual app stores and everything, and you can do that kind of stuff, and you can just double tap to multitask. With this, you can hold down one of these buttons, I forget which one, and select whatever one you want from there. But basically, I'm an iPhone fanboy, I think. I think I'm probably going to stick with these guys for a while because they are pretty silky smooth. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out my other videos. 
and visit Link It Ups if you want any more information on any of these devices. This has been Silly Simon. Thanks a lot. Toodles, menudos. Bye.